Online games move towards massive worlds of wonder. History is made with the wind, and we count down the top five trending stories of the week. This is BizWire TV, where your news is made. I'm Erin Aid. Top of the wire this week. Imagine virtual worlds so massive that thousands of players can be on them at the same time, and whatever they do has consequences that can last forever. Well, that's the technology from Improbable, a London startup that's now partnered with Google. Improbable has developed a platform called Spatial OS. It gives game developers a way to create huge simulated worlds beyond what we've ever seen. That's because it works across thousands of servers running in the cloud. Objects can persist indefinitely. This is an example of a game called Worlds Adrift, set in a world of floating islands which are permanently changed by players' actions. Google Cloud Platform is now a strategic partner, and the two just announced a game development program for Spatial OS, so stay tuned. Now let's count down the top five trending business wire stories of the week according to our newbie social media monitor. Coming in at number five, Orbital ATK. The aerospace company announced its plans to air launch a Pegasus rocket from an airplane. Go for release and drop Pegasus's away. Hey, the mission of the Pegasus rocket with Cygnus. At number four, Chipotle's original founder, Steve Ells, becomes the sole CEO to help get the company back on track. Ells started Chipotle back in 1993. Coca-Cola hit the number three spot when it announced its CEO secession plan. President and COO James Quincy will transition to CEO next year. Current CEO Mutar Kent moves to chairman of the board of directors. American Express earned the number two position when it announced increased parental and family leave benefits for its employees. Amex says its full and part-time workers in the U.S. will be eligible for 20 weeks of paid parental leave beginning New Year's Day. And the number one most shared business wire story of the week is Viacom calling off its merger with CBS. The media conglomerate ended talks after announcing Bob Backish as the new CEO. Viacom says it believes his vision for the company will help bring stronger stock performance. Now here's another headline on the wire from our sponsor. LetterTech will showcase 2D and 3D solid-state LIDARs for mass market autonomous driving deployments at CES 2017. Read more about this story on businesswire.com. A historic first leads off our quick biz hits. America's first offshore wind farm is online and sending electricity to customers in Rhode Island. National Grid oversaw the construction of the infrastructure for the Block Island Wind Farm. It included 20 miles of submarine cable, 5 miles of underground cable, and two new substations which will deliver 30 megawatts of electricity to Block Island. Duracell teamed up with Lucas Films to bring some Star Wars joy to kids. The company has brought Stormtroopers, R2-D2, and other Star Wars characters to Children's Hospital Los Angeles. The event delighted young patients and celebrated Duracell's one million battery donation that will help power toys for kids being cared for at Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Now on to the launch pad where we check out new products and services announced on Business Wire. First up, a mobile health coach to keep your health on track. iFit launched the iFit Coach. The health tech company says the mobile app monitors exercise, nutrition, activity and sleep and it adjusts in real time to give personalized recommendations. Membership ranges from $9 to $15 a month and comes with an iFit View wearable. And music discovery app Shazam launched an integration with Snapchat. The partnership lets Snapchatters use Shazam's music recognition technology by pressing and holding the camera screen. It records any music playing nearby and sends all the info, including artist, song, and album, right to the user without having to switch apps. Finally, something to keep in mind as you do your last-minute holiday shopping. A lot of people are faking it when they show how excited they are about your present. A new Groupon survey found that three out of four people say that they regularly fake their reaction when opening a gift. And yes, women fake it more than men do. Here are the signs to look for. Appearing delighted, hugging and kissing you, just staring at it, or a friendly pat on the back. So if you hear reactions like, oh, you shouldn't have, or I needed one of those, maybe, just maybe, you should rethink your choices. Groupon says they found that some of the best gifts are those of experiences. Be sure to check out new episodes of BizWire TV and the Accelerator Report every Friday and Sunday on BizWireTV.com and now on Apple TV. And stay connected on our app for iPhones and Android devices. I'm Erin Aid, and I'll see you next time on BizWire TV.